What's up guys, it's the Ohm Ninja Wing Aviators and Superhero Hat bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja channel and today we are continuing the awesome Avatar month, one of my favorite months of the year because Avatar is like the best ever. Drink cactus juice, it'll quench ya, nothing's quenchier, it's the quenchiest. And we are going in and doing another fight like episode based off of avatar and i'm sure all of you guys can either read or see the thumbnail video but regardless we're going to be covering fight like firebenders because you know firebenders are awesome fight me fire is the element of power the people of the Fire Nation have desire and will, and the energy and drive to achieve what they want. Now, firebending is based on Shaolin Kung Fu. However, it is modified a little bit to fit the style of the show and fit the style of firebenders in nature. In this, the majority of the firebending fighting style revolves around aggressive and offensive behaviors. You're going to be focusing on attacking, attacking, attacking because if you're always on attack and they're overwhelmed, you don't have to worry about defending yourself. That is the logic of the fighting style of firebenders. Now, most firebenders will fight and rely on direct attacks, things like straight punches, direct chops, and even sidekicks or other kicks that go straight in at their target because their goal is to as fast as possible possible overwhelm their target now that doesn't mean that that is the only way to do it there are always exceptions to basically every rule in existence so oftentimes many skilled firebenders won't stick to this traditional straight direct line of fire pun kind of intended and will add in turning kicks and spinning techniques that will provide a variety of different attacks for whatever opponent you're facing. Using these spinning techniques can allow you to get a wide area in a single attack, allowing you to hit people that are very quick on their feet, like airbenders or even Azula when she's, you know, powered by the meteor, comet, the me comet. It was definitely called a comet, not a meteor, even though, even though they're basically the same thing. Now with that said, kicks are still often used in the defense or in the retreating position. When you see a firebender getting overwhelmed or feeling um, like they're being pushed back and having to go on the defense, instead of blocking and doing stuff like that, they will do these spinning techniques that allow them to get distance and allow them to set themselves up for a more direct attack following that. So you'll see a lot of spinning techniques or spinning kicks followed by direct punches or um, forceful front kicks and forceful direct attacks after that because again their goal is to get the enemy on their toes on their heels keep them falling backward and so as soon as they're given the opportunity to go on the complete offensive and just overwhelm their opponent they will take that chance as quick as possible now this strategy has worked very well for them in the series but this does take a lot of energy and can be very difficult to continue over a large amount of time without the correct breath control the breath becomes energy in the body the energy extends past your limbs and becomes fire firebenders are very focused in how they control their breath breathing in and out to control how intense their fire is how powerful they are and to keep themselves in the fight without being winded fire needs oxygen and fighting needs oxygen and so firebenders fighting a lot of oxygen needed and so if you plan on using a firebender style of fighting for yourself you'll need to remember that yes you need to breathe don't forget that you're on the offensive and wasting a bunch of energy using a bunch of energy on your opponents so in order to keep up in order to not get winded and uh slow down in a fairly quick amount of time you need to breathe and focus on that breath focus on the power of your breath but again this is for all of you guys that are wanting to adapt this style to your own fighting style or just you know so you can have that knowledge about but it's time to go outside it's super cold so I was kind of trying to put this off but it's time to go outside and practice a couple combinations that you can practice in your backyard or in a big you know warm room since it's winter now so it's kind of cold but you can practice and kick off your firebending career so let's get to it
Alright guys, so now let's go into a couple different combinations you can practice to kickstart your firebending career. So, first off, we're going to start off with a spinning technique followed by a hard offense. So, what we're going to start off with is with our back leg, we're going to do a back spinning kick. If you don't know how to do it, um, I have done tutorials on it before, so check it out. I'll leave links down in the description. Using that back leg, you're going to spin around. Bang! aiming for the head trying to get them off your behind down to get them back and starting to retreat once you get them to the retreat you're gonna follow through with your left punch so you're going to kick one and then punch through just like that so I'm gonna step back a little bit more so you can see so motion you're going to kick punch one punch two just like that so once you get your two punches you're going to wrap around the back of the neck just like this and you're going to knee into the solar plexus or into the face if you can knee that high it's just up to you guys so now for our second technique that we're going to be doing is going to be slightly different it's going to be not a block but an evade of the first attack because firebenders do evade first attacks that is you know it's kind of mandatory depending on no matter what style you're fighting at so so what you're going to do imagine a punch coming directly at me just like this you're going to take your left foot or i mean you can do either side but for right now we're going to use this side and you're going to step to the side at an angle making sure you're not directing to the side directly but at an angle that's what you're wanting so once you step to the side put keep a hand up to protect you from the punch coming in what you're going to do is you're going to throw a straight punch with your left hand into their ribs or kidney area just like this so one more time step one then you're going to take a tiger claw just like this and aim for the jugular two and then you're going to use your paw the palm of your hand going to groin strike and finishing grab and pop them so they can fall backwards after you've ripped their uh their groin off so there's that that's rough buddy one more time nice and slow you're gonna step to the side one two three four just like that all right guys so i'm gonna be honest with you i am super cold right now i've had to like wait for like four cars to pass by uh, I hope you enjoyed this video if you want to see more definitely subscribe because you know This is how you see more of my stuff by subscribing and hitting the bell just kind of how that works for YouTube But if you want to know more if you want to influence how the channel goes leave a comment Let me know what you know other things you want to fight like as I know I have a lot of plans for a bunch of different characters in the future. I know Tim Drake is coming up pretty soon. I'm going to be doing Tim Drake soon. I'm going to be doing a Star Wars episode next month. It's going to be awesome. But if you have a hero or villain or, you know, video game character or whatever that you want to suggest, let me know. I love taking suggestions because that way I can do what you guys want to see. But it's super cold. I'm freezing my hands off. I'm ready to go inside. So until next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja, and I'm out.